Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Sokmov, back again with the video, and as you can see on the screen right now, we have a Batman Arkham Knight scene that happens about halfway through the game, I'd probably say. And we have Oracle laying dead in her wheelchair, at least so it looks like. But what we find out is that this entire scene right here, we find out later that this is all an illusion. And we end up seeing Batgirl or Oracle um, shoot at Batman, and the glass appears to be bulletproof for some sort. And you're about to see that in a moment here. So first Scarecrow gasses her, and then she like wakes up here. And like I said, this is all an illusion. None of this actually happened. So we see this, and then you're about to see Oracle here. She's about to pull a gun on Batman and shoot the glass three times. And the reason I'm mentioning this is really important in the chronology of what I'm about to show you, because what happens is after the scene occurs at any time you can see here she shoots the glass three times when we come back afterwards and you can see joker is actually sitting in the wheelchair of where oracle was previously lying dead so without further explanation let's just go ahead and show you the good stuff here So here we are after that scene happens, after Batgirl shoots herself, at least so we think, and then we enter back into this building in Chinatown, where Poison Ivy was once in this case as well at the very beginning of the game, and we actually see Joker here, so I'm going to go ahead and be quiet and let you hear his cutscenes. Hang on, did you leave something here? It was sort of uh, body shaped, wasn't it? You think Jimbo took her? He's gotta be a prime suspect. <laughs> I imagine Gordon shoveling the dirt on Bab's body right now. Then heading off for revenge on Scarecrow. <laughs> Might as well jump in the grave with her and save himself some time. Someone needs to have a word with the commish. I thought tampering with a crime scene was a serious offense. Well, maybe they make an exception when you're related to the evidence. Hmm? So there are two things that are really important about what I just showed you. First of all, as you saw when Joker was giving his speech, on the glass there was the three bullet holes from when Oracle shot at Batman. So the chronology adds up that that speech from the Joker did indeed occur after Oracle's death. When the Joker states that Commissioner Gordon should be a, quote, primary suspect, end quote, of the individuals who may have, quote, tampered with the crime scene evidence or, or whatever he said, the Joker is actually hinting at the biggest plot twist in the entire game. Well, at least I think it's the biggest plot twist in the entire game. It sure as hell was not the Arkham Knight reveal. That is for sure undebatable. So anyway, but since the scene that we saw with Oracle killing herself was basically all fake, it was a fear toxin of illusion or vision or whatever you like to call it, the Joker is actually referring to the scene where Commissioner Gordon turns on Batman in a plot that he kept secret from him. Even though he intentionally shot Batman in a well-protected place on a suit, and he had no intentions of killing him or anything like that, he still baited Batman into Scarecrow just as Scarecrow requested. So in essence, the Joker is describing how Gordon should be a primary suspect in actually finding Barbara, not for who removed her body from the chamber. Not only that, but Gordon should be a primary suspect that Batman should be investigating, seeing that Gordon was keeping something from Batman at this point in the story. What's interesting about this cutscene with the Joker is that it only happens if you go between the time that Oracle, we see Oracle die and when we meet Scarecrow at the top of that tower with Commissioner Gordon. It has to be sometime in between there. If you go into this building after that cutscene with Commissioner Gordon and Scarecrow and Batman at the top of that one building, what you're going to find is that the Joker's not there. The wheelchair's empty and I tried it and you should be able to see on your screen right now how there's nothing in there. So this Joker cutscene of him talking about Commissioner Gordon being a primary suspect actually just hinted really at the primary plot twist of the game which was Commissioner Gordon turning on Batman and even though he placed it in the correct spot and he wasn't trying he knew he wasn't going to kill him but still in, in my opinion it was the biggest plot twist of the game so yeah I hope you all enjoyed this and I thought it was something that was really cool that I thought I would show you all and like I said many of us wouldn't think about going back into this building after that cutscene with Oracle but if you did if you're one of the lucky people that did and you've already seen this then kudos to you for going back there and seeing this and if you did see it then I'm assuming you probably didn't connect the dots between Joker's speech and it relating to the whole plot and everything like that but if you did then also kudos to you so anyway I hope you all enjoyed the video if you did you can feel free to hit the like button also you can subscribe for more Batman Arkham Knight I upload every single day my name is Sukmuff and I'll see you later you don't scare me <laughs>